In today's Madden 21 quick tip, I am going to show you how to swerve catch in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, never seen any of my videos, one of the things I wanted you to know right now is my YouTube channel makes four YouTube videos every single day that are devoted to helping you improve in Madden NFL 21. And in today's video, what we're doing is we're talking specifically about how do you swerve catch, right? You see a lot of pro players do this. You see a lot You see a lot of just mad players do this. Maybe you're wondering how do you do this uh, little tip here. This is going to help you um, be more consistent with your catching in man 21 and so if you guys want to get access to some of my other videos what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go to the bottom right hand of the screen and click that subscribe button and to the right of that there's a little bell icon if you click that and turn on all notifications that is going to let you know whenever we release a new video again we upload four times a day and we stream every single night all right, so swerve catching, right? You could do this in any environment. Um, there's two specific plays that I want to talk about. First one is deep attack, and the second one is uh, circle, and the third one, actually, I'm sorry, is going to be sail. Why sail? So we're going to talk about all of those plays uh, here, and we're going to talk about specifically how do you swerve catch routes uh, once you get, you'll see I get a lot of one play touchdowns against man to man press coverage, and let me show you why. So literally uh i'm gonna back the ball up just a little bit here just to give myself a little bit of space to show you this stuff but basically what you're gonna do i got the controller came at the top right so watch my movements on the joystick and everything but basically what you're going to do is you are going to simply very very simply you're going to streak your receiver right so in this scenario it's going to be marquise brown we're just going to streak him, and we're going to lob it up over top. And when we catch, click on the ball, we're going to swerve him to the inside and to the outside. So I'm going to see it, lob it up, click on. I'm going to do that little little slight swerve of the hips right there to get that little over-shoulder animation. And you're going to see it's going to be going. Literally, if you look at my joystick right now, I'm going inside and then out. Inside and then out, or outside and then in, uh, based on the side of the ball. All right, let's show you... Um, Let's show you uh, another route that you could use this on. So you could use this on anything, right? It doesn't just have to be streaks. Streaks are the easiest way to go ahead and show it to you. But you'll see right here, see how I swerve him? I go inside up, inside in, inside in. Literally, this is the strategy. Um, you know, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swerve him um, toward the defender and then toward the ball. Toward the defender, then toward the ball. Uh, right there's a bad pass by the Marcus Jackson, but literally that's what I'm doing. So like on this scenario, I have inside position, so I'm gonna swerve him out and then in. And as you see, I'm gonna get that possession catch right there. Now, what about zone? Right? Can you do this against zone? Yes, you certainly can do this against zone. In fact, it probably works a little bit better against zone. What you're gonna see here on this little crossing route is I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna come right underneath it right there. Let me show you that one more time because the corner did drop back a little bit deeper than I expected him to. So I'll show you this right here. And literally, good old dime one. Gotta love dime one for six, right? Gotta love dime one for six. Um, literally, what you're gonna do, step up in the pocket, right there. See, I swerved him up toward the safety and then back down. That is critical. Uh, I do this on everything. Literally, everything that I run, I will do this on. So, if I wanna throw a curl route, I'm gonna low ball it, right? But I'm gonna click on it and I'm swerving him. Uh, I'm swerving him up, up at the defender and then back down, up at the defender and then back down. Literally, that little concept is going to explain everything about what I do and why I do it. We're going to show you this on the left side. Uh, I have a little bit of an issue on the right side here, but let me show you this on the left side. So literally, inside, click on. And typically, if they're shading, um, because they're not shading over top, it's not becoming a big issue. But literally, right here, you'll see it. Pass lead inside, click on. I'm just clicking on and swerving him down to the inside. That's all I'm doing. You're seeing very, very consistent results from this. What I want to also show you really quickly is why sale. This is a specific stock streak on the left side, a little fade route. And what you'll see is uh, if they take the safety away, you're going to be able to literally, he's going to get that over the shoulder animation, lights up, click on, and you're just going to do a slight little swerve and then out. Slight, slight swerve out. I did a little bit too. Uh, extreme of a swerve right there it doesn't you can hot route this too it doesn't have to be anything special right you can just hot route a fade to brown and what you'll see here click on right there swerve you see that little slight swerve is going to make all the difference in the world in fact you could do this on interior streaks so let's say you have um let's say you want to try to hit willie sneed here over the middle 
Well, once he gets over the top, which doesn't look like he's going to do it here, um, we'll show you a route that does get over top. I think I have, I have it in this playbook. But you can do this on anything. Um, let me show you. Uh, circle, I even do this. So, like, on circle, if I'm going to run this little route to the back, I'm going to click on just that quick little, little, slight, little slight swerve. Inside, outside, or outside, inside. It doesn't necessarily make a huge difference which, which way you do it, uh, at least in my opinion, uh, from the from the standpoint of swerving um, on some of the underneath routes, but it does help out a little bit, and that's why I really like to do it. You'll see here also, like if I run a slant route, you'll see you'll see, um, you'll see I do this all the time, especially if I'm running like a um, trying to think like if I'm running a slant route or a drag or a deep end route, anything really. Uh, click on, and I'm swerving. You see that it's going to trigger these animations. Um, I'm swerving inside and then toward the ball, inside and then toward the ball. Toward, basically, the rule of thumb is toward the defender and then toward the ball toward the defender and then toward the ball that's what i like to do personally um one of the things you can do let me show you this really quickly um if i run this circle route you see here i can do i can do down and up if i want to and they create different animations but mastering the swerve catch literally i'm going to click on the receiver by clicking circle and then i'm going to swerve him just slightly and that slight swerve is going to make all the difference in the world for your user catching in this year's game i'm just telling you you're gonna be able to consistently hit it um it's gonna add so much better animations to it it's gonna make it so much easier to rack catch it i do this from pretty much everything that i run like if i just run a simple out route watch what happens i'm gonna swerve him and you see he's gonna get a better animation on field so if i want to throw an out route i can swerve him and i can do it outside whoops i'm sorry i didn't mean an aggressive catch i can do it to the outside and then i can do it up and it's going to be just as effective uh these are little little things here that make a big difference um but you see right there you're gonna get that over the shoulder grab that's what we're looking for consistently that's they're not going to be able to intercept that because of that animation so that is how you swerve catch in madden 21 for those of you guys that want to get better at madden one of the next steps that i want to ask you to do maybe you watch this video and this has helped you but you really want to take your game even to a higher level I want to encourage you right now to pick up my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. It's my full defense, my full offense that I use in Madden 21. I have A gap pressure, edge pressure, B gap pressure, coverage defenses, run defense. You want to stop the run. All of those defenses are in my uh, ebook. Also, I have man beaters, zone beaters. We have one play touchdowns against every coverage in the game. We're going to be able to work the ball up the field with this offense. So it's my full Madden 21 competitive bundle guide, offense and defense. You can click the link in the description below that just came out uh, yesterday as far as a finalized Madden 21 version. We have been updating it slightly, but um, the full version is released. So you can check that out in the description. Also, if you've not already joined my Discord, I do want to encourage you to do it. But guys, seriously, if you want to get better at Madden 21, what I want to encourage you to do, I just want you to take this step. This is what helped me years ago. Buying a guide is one of the best things you can do because it's going to force you to get better. You're going to learn from top players. You're going to learn um, how a scheme actually works together, and I think it's really going to help. It's more than just money plays. It's game plans. It's having an actual plan for what you're going to do on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. I'm really, really excited about this guide. I think it's going to help a lot of people. In fact, one of the subscribers that I have, he let me know that this has been the best $25 that he has spent on a Madden product. So if you want to pick up that guide, I would really appreciate it. The link is in the description of this video. There's going to be some other videos for you to check out. And we will see you guys in our next YouTube video coming in just a couple hours.